Okay, so the portage sign is way back there on the tree. This is all land, uh, courtesy of our friends the beaver, I guess. I don't know if there's a way in. I don't know how to get to that portage. Um, I thought when I got up here I would see a way in, but I do not. Oh, wait, I think I found a way in. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully it goes all the way. All the way in, I'm really surprised. I'm happy. Don't hit my phone. <laughs> oh, I just got stabbed by a, a tree. Okay, uh, give me my paddle back. <laughs> oh, I should, probably should have turned the camera around for that. That was quite funny. All right, I need it. So far, very nice portage. A little uphill here and there, but not too steep. And some mucky spots. Um, but again, not too bad. I slipped a little on one, but recovered. Didn't fall, so that's good. I say as I get to this really fun area. <laughs> oh, hello, frog. Watch out. Okay. Whoa! 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 Almost lost my shoe. It likes to suck my shoes off. That's for sure. Whoa! Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> Back in business. Oh, that wasn't too difficult. I noticed that uh, my so my shoulders are getting sore carrying the canoe. It's probably just uh, residual from yesterday uh, because I didn't rest that much, but I can see that uh, the next portage is right there. <laughs> so I guess I should get going. <laughs> I'm procrastinating right now. Doo -doo -doo. Beautiful dragonflies over here. They're just feasting on these mosquitoes. Thank you, dragonfly. You're pretty. <laughs> uh, I thought I was recording for like the last three minutes and I wasn't, so that's always fun. <laughs> Something to do on a portage. I'm um, just on my way back to get my pack. My canoe is over on Wee Lake. Um, just have a wee paddle over Wee Lake. And then I have another portage. I think it's 540 meters or something. 
Um, and then just another small one, and then I'm on McCraney. So um, I was just adding up the portage um, meters, just roughly, <laughs> while I was walking. And uh, I think I'm around 4,000 meters. I'll put it at the end of the video, um, the stats for this trip. But it's only a three-day trip. I mean, I say three days, but that's kind of loose, too. I mean, I get here... I got here at like 5.30 or, yeah, I think I got on the water at 10 to 6 last night. And I'll be out Sunday probably around, well, early afternoon. So, <laughs> um, it's really two days, but it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? So three days, two nights. And uh, my trip next weekend is, I think, 4,800 meters. And it's over five days, four nights. <laughs> So, but there's a lot more paddling on that trip, way more paddling. So, um, just thought it was funny that I'm here kind of doing all these portages. And this is the most amount of portages I think I've ever done on a three day trip too. So that's kind of crazy. I saw these when I came through with the canoe. I don't know what they are, but they're really cool looking. There's like two of them. There's the other one. Need, eh? Anyone know what that is? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Frog. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Are you gonna hop away from me? No? Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Have a nice day. Alright, I'm at the portage from Wee Lake into, I think it's McCraney now. <laughs> can't read the sign. I know that there's a 60 meter after this into McCraney, so maybe I'm going into something else first. I guess I'll find out when I get there. So I found out on the map that this is Way Lake, very tiny indeed, and uh, there's an eagle right there. Oh, you see it? That was awesome. Um, I don't see the next portage, it's just a 60 meter. It's just be right across on the other side, but I have to go get my bag anyways, so. That seemed a lot longer than 500 meters. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I don't have uh, much left, just a wee little bit and then a paddle and then I'm at my site. I can't wait to, to relax. Oh, here's beautiful Way Lake. So I left Islet, I went to Weed, Wee, and now Way. And then I'm going to McCraney. Hmm, doesn't really fit into the suit there, does it? I'm gonna see that bald eagle again, but I guess he's gone. Well, I just crossed Way Lake. It wasn't very far. And uh, I'm just sitting here in the canoe at the portage. <laughs> I'm really glad it's only 60 meters because I'm toast. I'm really, really, really tired. And I'm out of energy. I just had a couple of cookies on the last portage, but. I was doing like walking baby steps um, the whole way back. I didn't realize, but the end of the, the like the last third of the portage was all downhill. So when I went back to get my pack, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's just walking up, 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 up. I was glad I didn't have anything with me at least. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to my campsite. Not that uh, I'm obviously in a rush to do that, but I will get there. But uh, I got a, lots of time to rest. I think it's about um, 11.30 right now. So depending on how fussy I, fussy I am about picking a site, um, 
I should be at my campsite, you know, by lunchtime and can unpack and take my time, sit in the sun, read my book. Seems to be nice here. There's no bugs. I guess it just depends where you are. <coughs> Anyways, I guess I'll stop procrastinating and get going, but look at the scenery behind me. It's just absolutely stunning. So pretty. Anyway, I'll stop procrastinating. Off we go. Full of little flowers. They look kind of like long peaches. <laughs> I think that portage took me as long to do as the 500 meter. Oh, I'm just wiped. Uh, I am now on McCraney Lake. Yay! Uh, I'm super happy about that. So I'm going to go paddle and find a site and collapse. <laughs> uh, it's windy too, but um, I think once I get around this bend, I'm going to be going the other way and then the wind is going to be behind me. So we'll see. That doesn't happen very often, but crossed. I'm excited. I've never been on this lake. It looks really pretty. And uh, it's just going on noon. I thought I would be here a little sooner, but uh, the last two portages I was really dragging my heels. So, uh, said I was going to take my time, and I did. <laughs> well, I am on McCraney, and it was a big lake. I'm not a fan of big lakes. <laughs> um, if there's anything wrong with them, I just like small water, so... And I have the wind at my back, believe it or not. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, just trying to find a site where... because the wind is pushing me so I just I'm just steering um, I need to stay at this end of the lake well I need to be at this end of the lake when I leave tomorrow so because it's such a big lake I don't really want to deal with crazy winds tomorrow if there are any and then have to go against them like I would be right now if I was going so I think I'm going to see what the sights are like at the front of the lake here and uh, hopefully there's a really nice one and I can just skip it up and make camp. That's the plan. Well, this site looks perfect. I'm going to take it. There's like a little rock pathway leading up to this big rock that's sitting out in the water. So if the bugs are getting to me, I could just sit out here and let the wind blow them away. I can sit out there in the sun probably until it goes down. And uh, it looks like somebody's built some furniture up there, maybe a bench seat, um, something beside the fire. I'm gonna go check it out. Plus I've got this cool little bay right here. Maybe I'll get to see a moose if I'm lucky. Yay! So if I am brave enough to swim, there's like a nice, like way into the water. Some little pebbles. Rock out there. I could probably get some great sunrise and sunset pictures from there. My little rock path. <laughs> so cool. Alright, let's go check it out. I'm super excited. I'm so glad I found my home for the night. Wow, this is something. <laughs> really nice. Check out this. Check out this setup. <laughs> it's like this beautiful bench seat. <laughs> table, another bench seat, this really cool rock thingy, the fire pit right here, somebody was here recently, it's uh, smelling still, wow, it's quite the setup, it's really cool, and I've got uh, View of the sunrise, view of the sunset, and uh, bugs, of course, but whatever. Just need to find a flat spot to put my tent, which uh, 
It was very important to me last night and I didn't do that. Oh, there's a beautiful flat spot for my tent right there. Yeah, my tent was not on flat ground last night. And I was sliding all over the place. So, cool. I'm gonna go find the privy and uh, have my lunch. All right, priority number one is to set up the bug shelter. Um, it's nice and windy actually right here right now, so it's perfect at this part of the site. Um, but for later when the wind dies down, I know that they're going to start driving me crazy eventually and I'm going to need to get away. So I've got that set up and ready to go. I'm actually going to take my chair down to my little tiny beach that I have down there and I'm going to eat my lunch. And uh, then I'll set up my tent and collect some wood and stuff like that after. Well, it's quarter after one. I decided instead of having lunch right away, I would go put up my tent and blow up my thermal rest and my pillow, and my sleeping bag up um, because I wanted to uh, put some sunscreen on and take off my bug shirt and sit down here while I ate my lunch. And if I did that, then I would have had to put my bug shirt back on and all my other stuff when I went to put the tent up because it's kind of buggy up there. But here, there's a nice breeze and there's no bugs. So, I'm going to uh, eat my lunch and then I'm gonna put my shorts on and uh, hopefully I get brave enough to go in the water for a little swim. Um, I have all day now, it's so awesome. I have all day just to sit here and relax. I'm gonna read my uh, Hat Wilson book, my, The River of Fire, and uh, just chill out. Um, when the sun gets too much, I'll go up into the uh, the bug zone, um, the bug shelter, and uh, chill out in there. So, yay, I'm happy. I'm very tired, but I'm happy. So for lunch today, I have a German salami wrap. And I'm also trying these dilly bites that I got in Michigan at Walmart um, when I went to do the Quiet Water Symposium. So I'll let you know how they are. Um, I'm super excited to try them, but I'm going to try them after my wrap. Um, if I had turkey, I would eat them together, but because I have salami, I'm going to wait till I'm done and then try them after. It's absolutely gorgeous. The clouds have gone away again, so I'm sitting here in the sun. And I'm ready to try these dilly bites. Um, here's what they are. Now, I didn't notice. <laughs> but it says keep refrigerated. Now, I bought these at Walmart on the shelf in one of the aisles. It wasn't refrigerated, so when I brought it home, I put it in my pantry, and I didn't refrigerate it, so hopefully they're still good. Uh, the expiry says July 19th. Um, the reason I liked them was because they weren't refrigerated, and I thought, oh, these are great. I can take them on trip, and they don't have to stay refrigerated, so. I guess I'll find out if they're okay or not. Here's the information on the back. So, let's give them a go. I kind of wanted to eat these on the portage today, but I wasn't sure how they would affect me. And I wasn't actually that hungry. I didn't have that many to do, but okay. Here they are. and sour and that kind of stuff because I eat pretty bland food. Um, I don't think I can eat the rest of these. I'm going to try one more, but I, I think these would be good on um, if I had like a tuna wrap, which I'm having tomorrow, um, or turkey. Turkey wrap would be good. They're, they're kind of thick. I'm actually surprised how thick they are. There's quite a few in here too, as you can see in there. Right in front of the camera. I don't know if there's enough light to see. I thought maybe there'd be like five in there, but wow, there's quite a few in here. I can't remember how much it cost. Wow. Mm. 
two. Well, I've eaten two, right? Or three. <laughs> I don't even remember. My brain is dead today. I'm so happy I scored this beautiful site, like so close to, it's actually the first, this one and the one across the lake are the first two that are closest to where I have to go to get out tomorrow. I still have to go down a creek, I think it's called McCraney Creek, <laughs> fittingly, and uh, to get to the portage and then I have the 800, 1800 meter portage and then I think there's like maybe 10 or 15 minutes paddling to the access at Rain, so. I don't have like a huge day tomorrow except for that 1800 meter, obviously that's going to take a while but that's all I have to do tomorrow and I have a nice nice rest day now today, like I've been here since 1230 I think, something like that. So. Well they're fine that they weren't refrigerated anyways, but wow are they ever sour. Whew. Oh, it's making the hair stand up on my arms. <laughs> Hi. I don't know if you can see that butterfly, it's gorgeous. I think that's it for me. I like them, they're great. I wish we could get them in Canada. And they're obviously not for just one person or Maybe they're meant for a, a meal for somebody because it's a lot, um, there's a lot in there. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the sun, I'm gonna put my shorts on, bye. Look at the big leech, look at him. He's waiting for me to stick my foot in the water. But it's not happening, buddy. No, 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 see you later. Yuck. There's tons of minnows in the water down there. I don't know if they know I'm here, but they just like gathered right here. Probably a nice spot for them. The sun's coming in, they're sheltered. They got this big rock beside them. Well, I've been reading for a while and I started getting sleepy, so I thought I'd get up and come sit on this big, huge rock in front of the campsite. Um, swimming is not on the agenda today. I, uh, I got my towel and I came down, I put my shorts on and I started sitting in the sun and I was like, oh, it's so hot. And then the wind comes up and whew, I get chills and goosebumps. And I'm like, no, I'm not taking my shorts off. I'm not putting my pants back on, but uh, I'm definitely not going swimming. Not today anyways, I don't think. I don't like being cold. <laughs>